Marigondon, officially the municipality of Marigondon, Tagalog, Bayan ng Marigondon, is a third-class municipality in the province of Cavite, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 37,720 people. Barangays Marigondon is politically subdivided into 27 barangays. History The name Marigondon was derived from Tagalog word matagundong or magong, meaning much sound. Actually the sounds come from a noisy river called K. Albaran in the barrio of Capantayan. This area was the first town site selected, but because the river frequently overflowed and flooded the place, the town was later relocated to its present site. The word Matagundong not being pleasant to the ear, the people had it changed to Marigundong in honor of the town's patron saint, Nuestra Señora de la Asunción, Our Lady of the Assumption. Soon after the establishment of the American regime, Lope K. Santos, an authority on Tagalog language and member of a geographic committee created to investigate and revise the names of Philippine towns and provinces, recommended the change of Marigundong to Marigondon. Definitely more pleasing to the ear, the present name of the town. Incidentally, Marigondon has three foundation dates, namely, 1. 1611 when the Franciscan Fathers from Salang established their first visita or chapel, 2. 1690, the Fundacion Ecclesiastica or founding of the regular parish by the Jesuits, dedicating it to Our Lady of the Assumption, 3. 1727, the Fundacion Civil, when the original barrio of Marigondon was separated from Salang during the administration of the Recollects and converted into an independent municipality with Gregorio Silvestre as the first governor Silo. Marigondon belonged to the Corregimiento of Marivelles now Bataan Province, until 1754 when Spanish Governor General Pedro Manuel de Arandia a abolished the Politico A military administration and restored Marigondon Cavite Province. In the second half of the 19th century the towns of Ternate, Magallanes, Balan, Alfonso, and Naic were mere barrios of Marigondon. Ternate was separated from Marigondon on March 31, 1857, under an agreement signed by Tomás de Leon, Félix Nigosa, Pablo de Leon, Florencio Nino Franco and Juan Ramos in behalf of the people of Ternate. Furthermore, Balin, now Gen. Aguinaldo, and Alfonso seceded from Marigondon in 1858. Magallanes followed suit on July 15, 1879 under an agreement signed by Crisostomo Riel representing Marigondon, and by Isidro Bello and company representing Magallanes. Marigondon played a significant role in the Philippine Revolution. Although the town belonged to the jurisdiction of the Magdawing Council, its brave sons like the three Riego de Dios brothers, Emiliano, Vicente and Mariano, Esteban Infante, Crisostomo Riel, Vicente Somoza and Antero C. Reyes proved their unflinching loyalty to the Aguinaldo government. All of them stuck to the revolution headed by Gen. Emilio Aguinaldo. Emiliano and Mariano Riego de Dios became top-ranking generals, Vicente, a colonel, commanded the revolutionary troops assigned at Navaleta, the Magdawing headquarters. General Emiliano Riego de Dios was one of the three provincial governors of Cavite under the revolutionary government, and Mariano became the Teong Aguila, Eagle Man, who saved Aguinaldo from certain death threat, in the Battle of Naic. General Mariano Riego de Dios, Colonel Crisostomo Riel and Colonel Esteban Infante were members of the Council of War that tried and convicted the Bonifacio brothers Andres and Procopio of sedition and treason against the duly established the revolutionary government of Aguinaldo. The Bonifacio brothers were sentenced to death by the Council of War owing to their supposed counter-revolutionary activities. Mariano Riego de Dios and Esteban Infante believed that the sentence was quite harsh and abstained from signing the death verdict. Aguinaldo agreed with them and ordered commutation of the sentence from death to banishment to the mountain of Pico de Loro in Marigondon. Before this would happen, a few of the generals, including Gen. Mariano Noriel, the chairman of military court, and Gen. Pio del Pilar, had convicted Aguinaldo to withdraw the commutation sentence and carry out the original verdict. 
Another view from the veterans of the Magdawing faction of Maragondon, Cavite handed down few generations, historic records failed to indicate that Bonifacio had a mock trial. He was ordered to be executed as he was hunted long before the said trial at the Reyes residence. The mockery, his named defender, Gen. Noriel, acted as his prosecutor during the mock trial. At the time, treason was allegedly a crime under the laws framed by the KKK under the leadership of Bonifacio, as the President of the Philippines. Here, Aguinaldo and the Magdalo faction would be found guilty of treason. Nonetheless, the Aguinaldo government, in the absence of an established legal document of any locally framed law by the Magdalo faction, in the mock trial, they found that the Bonifacio brothers were guilty of treason, without the benefit of the alleged Aguinaldo commutation. The seriously wounded Andres Bonifacio was carried in a cradle across the river through the Riel property by the river, now partly housing the contested POV, 1B Barangay Hall and Squatters area, while Procopio was required to walk across the river and march to the execution location location in Mount Nagpatong, owned by Don José Reyes, Piping, brother of one-time Maragondon governor Silo Don Eduardo Reyes, Capitan Ninning. Don Piping heard only one shot and was satisfied to find only one fallen Bonifacio to be buried in his land. To his disappointment, he was later informed that there were two brothers executed and Don Piping later surmised and concluded that the shot heard was for the missing Procopio while Andres expired after multiple stabs by the executioner Macapagal. The Magdawing faction had for years maintained that Andres was the first president of the Philippines while Aguinaldo was the first president of the First Philippine Republic. They maintained that Andres Bonifacio was intelligent and highly educated, truly informed although lacking in certificates or diplomas for schooled individuals. Unfortunately, he was invited by cousin-in-law Gen. Mariano Alvarez to come to Cavite to try to unite the feuding Magdalo and the Magdawing factions to be better combatants for the cause of the KKK, ultimately to be executed by landed and highly aristocratic Cavite leaders who coveted his leadership of the KKK. Maybe the Manila Council under Mayor Estrada would succeed in according Bonifacio the respect and recognition he had long time deserved as the first president of the Philippines, albeit, revolutionary government. Historic records also failed to indicate that A. Bonifacio was the supremo, the president of the revolutionary government that was recognized by the provinces that revolted against Spain. Thus, historic records also did not reflect that the Aguinaldo government was not duly constituted at the time of the Bonifacio execution. At the time, some historical records from sources outside of Cavite indicated that the revolutionary government under Bonifacio had laws that could find the Aguinaldo movement treasonous. As it were, the Cavite movement with impunity, superseded the national movement. The Aguinaldo government held the mock trial and the execution of Gat Bonifacio. Because the Filipino people failed to recognize the historic events surrounding the death of a national hero, A. Bonifacio, they suffered from an unfortunate repeat of history when GMA like Aguinaldo, decided to become the president of the Philippines. Although with failure of due process, and with seeming complicity, the GMA presidency was blessed by no less than Cardinal Sin. Similarly, the Aguinaldo, Nam de Guerre Magdalo presidency was blessed by Rev. Father Villafranca. Ironically, later, in Maragondon, the Magdalo faction would turn against the Roman Catholic Church and convert a Roman Catholic chapel built on a borrowed and never returned private lot in 1900 to Aglipayan IFI Church in 1902. Demographics In the 2015 census, the population of Maragondon was 37,720 people, with a density of 230 inhabitants per square kilometer or 600 inhabitants per square mile. Images References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information